life on two wheels. Nothing beats it. Thrills, chills, getting away from it all. The wind through your hair, <laughs> if you have any left, or at least through your helmet vents. Which brings me to a very serious issue. If you plan on riding a lot, you are very likely to get a common but very little known injury. In fact, you may already have it, but just don't realize. What are we talking about? Noise-induced hearing loss. And its nasty cousin, tinnitus or tinnitus. Ever had that ringing in your ears after a ride or a loud concert? Congratulations, that's the sound of permanent ear injury occurring. But who wants to hear about boring stuff like this? For many, the solution will be falling on deaf ears. They will say, we've had an earful of safety videos already. It will just be in one ear, out the other. Warning kids, don't attempt these lame jokes at home. And like a bad smell at the dinner table, it's usually the wind to blame. Sure, a loud motorbike exhaust definitely increases your hearing loss, but the research shows it is especially the wind noise as you exceed 70 kilometres per hour. I was hoping hearing loss was mostly going to be the motorbike. Long-term viewers will know I am not a fan of loud exhausts. It doesn't take much for permanent hearing loss to begin. A mere 15 minutes on the highway with a standard full face helmet, a small fairing or none at all. Of course, you won't go deaf after 20 minutes on the highway, but noise induced hearing loss accumulates over time. And so gradually you won't even notice until it's really too late. Tinnitus can be another result, a persistent ringing in the ears or sometimes a clicking buzzing, hiss or roaring. Like hearing loss, there is no cure, only prevention and management. The good news? The best prevention is actually very cheap for preventing hearing loss. Let's start with the less effective and or more expensive strategies. Quieter helmets. Studies show that quieter helmets can be three to five decibels quieter, can be an expensive solution depending on the brand. Shoe birth, HJC and Shoei all claim to do wind tunnel testing. The German brand Schuberth claimed dramatic noise reduction, but I can't find any independent scientific testing as yet. Research also found that some helmets actually resonate at 500 hertz and can make the wind noise worse. Unfortunately, the research did not state which brands. Wearing no helmet at all multiplies wind noise by 10. <laughs> Very bad idea. Full face helmets are better than open face. Make sure the helmet fits properly. If you're riding in cold weather, try wearing a thick scarf or fitting a helmet skirt. A lot of the wind noise comes up from underneath the helmet. Ride with your visor closed above 70 kilometers per hour. Do windscreens and fairings make a difference? A Dutch study experimented with different fairings and handlebars and managed up to a six decibel reduction. A key note here is that a fairing in the wrong position can create wind turbulence around your helmet and make things worse. Plenty of info out there, Google it. Here are some of the usual tips. The most effective solution is also the cheapest, <laughs> starting at around $4, earplugs. These reduce noise up to a mass of 32 decibels. Use these and you don't have to worry about helmets and fairings at all. It trumps everything else. Potential problems? Some riders say they are too quiet, but you can get earplugs that let enough noise through for safety while keeping you well protected. Some riders find them uncomfortable. There's a huge variety available, just keep experimenting. You can also get custom earplugs designed specially for your mutated freak ears. Plenty of riders don't know how to fit earplugs properly and they keep popping out, just Google it. There are also inflatable earmuffs for riders who really, really hate earplugs. Swedish research showed a 10 decibel noise reduction with earmuffs. Some riders listen to music with earbuds. If the earbuds don't seal external noise out properly, it's tempting to crank the volume to get over the wind noise, a seriously bad idea that will just speed up your hearing loss. Remember, having anything in your ears can be illegal in some states, whether it's sex toys or earplugs. What about active noise cancellation? 
These auditory specialists don't recommend it. I did also find some solid research that confirmed it's not a good idea in very noisy, unpredictable environments. And to me, that sounds like motorbike riding. Very keen to hear your thoughts and opinions, especially any auditory experts out there. Remember, I always add further notes to the pinned first comment on YouTube. If you're watching this on Facebook, I add any important notes to the original post. Safe riding, ladies and gentlemen.